Hi, this is SynthChaser with SynthChaser.com. I'm making this video today to show you how to test the uh, power supply in the ARP synthesizer uh, to see if it's putting out the correct voltage. So this is a power supply from an ARP Pro Soloist. Uh, this video is for Alan to help him test his ARP 2600 power supply. And uh, unfortunately my ARP 2600s are uh, kind of behind a, a stack of uh, CS80s, so I can't get it out right now. But I have, uh, I have this uh, Pro Soloist power supply sitting here, and it's out of the synthesizer, so I thought I'd show you on this. So with your multimeter, so for, well actually the first thing is disconnect the, the connectors from the power supply to elsewhere in the synthesizer. Um, this will help you uh, determine if uh, there could be a component down the line that's shorted, that's dragging one of the supply rails down. So by taking the power supply out of circuit with the rest of the synthesizer, you're able to test the power supply itself. So I have this power supply turned on now, so um, I'm going to be very careful when I touch on this side of the power supply. Uh, but this connector has the, the output voltages from the power supply. Uh, the Pro Soloist has three rails. It has plus 15, minus 15, and plus 5. On your ARP uh, 2600 and most other ARPs, there's only plus and minus 15 volts. So the way that you test these rails, uh, also, sorry, on your ARP 2600, the uh, wires are going to be coming out here. There's going to be two trimmers mounted here and little bundles of wires. Um, the black wires are ground, the red wires are plus 15, and the purple wires are minus 15. Uh, here I'm going to test it on the uh, connector. So I've turned my multimeter to DC volts, and I take the black probe, and I touch the black wire. Then I take the red probe, and I touch the red wire. And here my power supply is reading 15.17 volts, and that's, that's fine. As long as it's close to 15, um, it's not going to be exactly 15 because it, it's not plugged into the synthesizer right now. To test the minus 15 volt rail, again I put the black on, uh, the, on the black and the red on the purple. And here I'm reading negative 14.84, which is fine considering the power supply is out of circuit with the synthesizer. Uh, because this is a Pro Soloist, it has one extra rail plus 5 volts, which is an orange wire, so I can put the black lead to my multimeter on the black wire, and the red lead on the orange wire, and I read 5.24, which again is fine because the power supply is not plugged in. If you don't have one of those voltages within about a volt of, uh, of what it should be, then there's probably a fault <coughs> with your power supply. Uh, one other thing that you can test, and you, to do that you would turn the power off, so I've powered this down. You can test to see if the fuse is good. On your ARP 2600 the fuse is not mounted on the power supply board. In fact it's kind of cut here and the uh, just capacitors, the transformer is sitting by itself and the fuse is sitting by itself. On all other ARPs the fuse is, and the transformer are on the power supply. So to test if your fuse is good, set your multimeter to the ohms setting and then touch the fuse, either ends of the fuse. It doesn't matter what lead touches where. And you should read a very low resistance, uh, like zero ohms or you know, no more than like 10 ohms. And uh, that means that your fuse is good and hasn't blown. If your multimeter, if it's a digital one, reads zero L, that means there's no continuity and the fuse is blown. Uh, and it's not a simple process of just changing the fuse. I mean, you can try that, um, but uh, unless you correct the condition that caused the fuse to blow, probably a new fuse will just blow again. So this shows you how to test the power supply in an ARP synthesizer. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.